Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. Episode number nine coming at you. How's the day treating you so far? Imperial Jedi here, of course. And what was one quick click for you was uh, a few clicks for me. It's been, uh, I'm getting better at this, but it's been quite a few hours, my goodness, eh? So I've gone through, I've added some new turning lanes. I've added some traffic president magic. I've gone ahead and done the intersection marking tool. I've added some props. I built us a park. Let's go and see that in a second. But yeah, so over here, we've got the roundabout fixed. We've got some extra turning lanes. Um, get us basically ready for our little industrial pocket here. So a homage to the worker. And you kind of see in the background there too, we used key anarchy to bring a key wall in and act like kind of like a retaining wall to hold up the, uh, the bridge going over the highway. That's kind of nifty. So we'll go into that a little bit more when we uh, end up building that, but I'll still link that one below for you. Otherwise, for today's episode, I thought we could do a little bit of everything. We have on the docket some um, some bus lanes and some bus routes. We wanted to do that last um, last episode. Continuing a bit more with the bicycle stuff. And uh, we got to get our population higher. So I thought we'd build out a few more episodes, a few more episodes, a few more neighborhoods, and um, fill this area in, accumulate some money as we do, hopefully, spend some of that money on some Rico buildings, and uh, get ourselves ready for the transit hub, which will be kind of situated over here. So I've gone ahead and improved our uh, cross junction. So we have this really nifty park. I've added the extra street across, uh, ready for some buses. And uh, the lane markings, the traffic president, like all of it, it is so darn cool. So I'll show you guys how that turned out. Give me one hot second right here. But check this out, eh? So, woof. So yeah, the, the turning lanes themselves kind of lie a bit. These two go straight, even though the game things are going uh, to the left, but it, it should function. And all we do now are some uh, some cars, right? So I kind of thought like right across would be the uh, open air metro and like a bus and then maybe a trolley turnaround in the back. And then kitty corner over here would be the uh, train station. That'd be kind of nifty. And then I kind of thought like I don't know if we're going to throw a big park in, but maybe some open uh, plazas and stuff over to help kind of keep this density feeling not too crazy. And as far as Rico goes, I do want to maybe use like a big box store, something familiar, but we'll just kind of go through the list and see what we got. And I do want to try to introduce some residential in here, and I'll show you guys a couple cool tricks to make it feel like the roads are still connected, but it's more of like a pedestrian focus. You'll see what I mean. All right, so that's everything. That's a lot. And if you're just joining us for the first time, this is an ongoing Let's Play series where we take a bit of a vanilla approach, but we do use a lot of mods, so it's kind of like all over the place. And we're slowly building it all out. You can see the bigger picture coming together. Next few episodes are going to be focused on expanding the city. We have to get to 18,000 people and uh, transit. Transit's on the docket. So onwards and upwards with that. Otherwise, it's been a fun few episodes getting to this point. So feel free, of course, to watch from here. But if you're just joining in, uh, definitely check out the previous ones too. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of just mixed uh, use through here. So let's do just a little bit of wall-to-wall -wall zoning to get us started. I'm going to be mindful of the fact that we're a bit closer to some high-density commercial. That's pretty loud in the grand scheme. We know this. I mention it often. Yeah, so we'll put this park in. Kind of give us a bit of distance between. And then maybe a plaza or something right in here too. Beauty. And then just a little bit of uh, housing. Nice. And let me take a look here. I feel like we're just a smidge close. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think what I will do is I'm going to add just one little bit of um, pathway through here. Well, that's a toggleable whiteness. Very strange name for the mod, but toggle able, toggleable uh, whiteness. You can turn this on and off. Really, really cool. Not handy in some views, like pipes, for example, but handy in others. So I'll put that in the link. Uh, I'll put that link in the list below as well. All right. So I was thinking, yeah, like a pathway and a fence. That's not too bad. Let those zone in. That's not bad as well. And then I'm not going to do any more offices. Not, not, not. This is more than enough, especially given that we don't have a university campus yet. Uh, demand is really high for some um, commercial, so hopefully we can knock that out with some Rico. But let's just quickly build out a couple more intersections here. So I see this going a little bit further down. Then meeting up with something that has like a gentle curve to it. And what I'm trying to do is just gently follow that same kind of curve profile. It's not perfect, but it's going to have that like hopefully nice blend effect to it. 
and then we're going to build out a street or two down here and then we're going to do the same thing again but we're only going to use a pathway so it'll give the appearance that is connected visually from over top but a uh, pedestrian focus only so i want this to go to about there and then i want the cross street to kind of come across like there you go oh that's nice that worked out very nicely and then this would just come across like that. Cool. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, so we're following that same profile. We can bring this across now. That's really nice. That would go down, I think, one more block and then probably end in here. And that'll really help improve the walkability score when we connect all this together. And it'll stop people from taking these streets unless they live on them. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It's not too shabby. So let's bring the uh, skinny road across. Do some zoning, and then we'll deliver some buses up to here. And I'll kind of be... It's a little bit of rinse and repeat, but I'll go over some bus, um, bus theory as well. All right, so this one might actually just be a straight shot. Yeah, that might just be a straight shot. Okay. Well, actually, maybe, maybe they're not going to be um, not curved. Yeah, that's really not too bad. That's really not too bad at all. It's very, very well filled in, actually. I like how that kind of comes through. Yeah, so it turns out only the one curve, but I still really like, yeah, I think it blended really nicely. So we'll keep that, and I think we need one more connection point going into this from the uh, the top over here. And that I might take a wider road and just have it end one block down. Just for some decoration. Um, actually, you know what? These ones here, it's only one lane, but it's a nice wide road. There you go. Alright, cool. So we're in. Uh, I like that. Let's do a little bit of Rico uh, plopping, since we have a few extra bucks right now. And our demand is pretty high for commercial. So yeah, along here, I just thought, like, you know, a big box or something, a little bit oversized. Maybe a hotel asset, actually. That'd be kind of fun. Ikea. Oh, that's too expensive. No, I feel like, you know, these kind of big box might be a little bit further out. Might be a bit expensive still. Maybe like an at-home. That's not as large. Yeah, I don't dislike that. I have this hotel. Oh, Best Western, that's a nice looking asset. I wish we had just a slightly bigger version. Oh, that's cool. Nice downtown hotel. Yeah, that could be replaced by something with a little bit more density. Let's keep looking, though. I've spent all of our money, actually. Shoot. Um, that's not really good. It's not overly large. So we can just Rico search this way. Oh, yes. Oh, and that's a really good price. This is what I'm after. This feels a bit more, um, I think, appropriate for like the time scale when it would have been built and just the size. So let's get rid of this little guy. That could be a bit further out of the city where the density starts going down. And I'm on the fence. On the fence about the at-home. I'm just thinking like maybe more, more vertical density, I think, where the at-home is. Can that be connected nicely? Just a quick little set of pipes through here. There you go. So I've narrowed it down. I think it's my hard drive that's on the uh, on the way out. When you hear my little computer hiccups. Granted, this game is not very well optimized, but a lot of my other pieces on my computer are decent, and I think the hard drive is the only only slow point. All right, I kind of thought that was going to come. Um, of course, I spent all of our money too, so let's just put down another coal power plant. Hopefully the last coal power plant, because I really want to start moving into greener energy and just alternative energy sources. Okay, so I think our Rico plopping is going to come to an abrupt halt just for a hot second here while we zone some more. But yeah, I really like how that turned out. 
Okay, so zoning some commercial. Zoning a little bit more commercial. And maybe we can get lucky. Maybe we can get lucky with uh What is that? Belly Mall. No, can't afford that. Yeah, I really just sometimes forget how expensive some of these Rico buildings are. And I feel like I'm just still having that like mentality that the city is like big and built and like, you know, making us a fortune. But we have not put in the effort to get to that point just yet, have we, eh? Oh, that might look grand right here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's put down some buses. Let's do a little bit of conservative amount of um, residential zoning through here. And that can be offices for the noise. That's a little bit too small for zoning. That's fine. Gotta be wary of the noise. I know I'm kind of pushing my luck a little bit here, but you never know. Might get lucky. I think it's fun having some houses downtown. Those lucky few people, right? Yeah, just a hint more high density. And I think we're going to be mindful of the noise from the hotel. And I think we're going to try to build a, uh, a little fenced off area here. And that could be commercial boundary. And we'll see how these neighborhoods age. I'm not 100% uh, sold on this. It could always uh, be in a state of flux. So we'll, we'll just play her by ear, you know. Okay, that's not too bad. Nice. All right, so a couple things with the buses. We'll let this uh, zone. We should have water throughout the whole thing. Yep. Yeah, so the buses. We're going to continue on the thought process from what we had before. So a few episodes ago, we did create our own little itty-bitty bus hub, which is really fun. We have the Grand River Transit, GRT, that's us. And uh, this bus hub did a really good job of hitting, at the time, all parts of the city. So we have a fun little loop here that brings you to industrial and back. We're line sharing, and if you live a little bit further out of the town, you can kind of get into the hub. So we're going to keep basically those same uh, kind of vibes alive. And so we know that we're going to be building a transit hub in here. So really quickly, what I'm going to do is just a, a little street for a turnaround. And we're going to run a temporary bus into this until we unlock the, uh, the actual hub. And we'll unlock some pieces at 11,000 and some more pieces at 18,000. So this will be like a progressive. We'll build this over a few episodes. But the goal is to have like a big, strong transit hub. Uh, trolley buses turning around in the back. We'll put down an open air metro, train station, the works. So let's do a bus that starts off over here and just kind of makes its way to there and does a loop. And we'll kind of see what neighborhood we can hit on the way. And whenever possible, we're going to encourage a little bit of line sharing. So we had the other route that came through. Easy for them to get off and walk over, but we might stop at one of these stops. Stop on that one there too. And we're just going to keep on going now down the street instead. So we'll go hit the roundabout. Make our way up here to our new shopping spot. Stopping at that hotel. And then, yeah, we'll turn around the block up here. And this is going to be a looping route, so it's going to fall back and it's going to do the opposite side of the street, which is pretty pivotal. I'm going to do that one just because of the way the intersection is, just on the opposite side over there. Oh, I'm going to put that a bit further down for the turn to be completed. This is us back again doing the line sharing. We'll stop there for the sake of the industrial. There you go. And this is the Improved Public Transit 2 mod. IPT2. Really good mod. Gives you way more like control over like all aspects of your transit versus the vanilla one. So if you're downloading custom vehicles, this is your fleet right here. You can choose. You can spawn them out. It does the spacing for you. You can already see people that are waiting at the stops. That's not too bad. Second, so we put some buses down. I'm sure that'll really pick up. Oh, here we go. It's starting to. So we wanted the city bus. 
that is a capacity of 60 people, please. Um, city bus, there it is. And let's go for eight buses. And we can always uh, uh, change that if we need to. Okay, so that's in place. Visually, you can see, though, we're not really hitting a whole part of, uh, you know, the living quarters, right? So we're going to need another bus route that's going to make basically a loop through here. And we're going to encourage as much line sharing through this portion as possible. And that'll get people who live in this part uh, able to go on down there and share, cut across and share, and uh, eventually get down to a um, uh, worker spot. That'll be kind of handy. So this one, we'll just start here and we'll just keep cutting across. It's a very long block. Never noticed that before. Uh, I'm going to put one more little street in. That should help a little bit. Let's go back to our buses. Well, actually, you know, I, uh, I just autopiloted to right click to erase. But let's say, for example, let's say you had a starting of a line. And you're like, oh, I would like to go add something. And now you want to go back and continue the line. No problem. So you just click right on the previous stop. You could click and drag to move it too at the same time if you wanted. But that gets you back in. And then now when we go add a new stop, boom, continues. So this continues down the road where we had the buses going previously. We'll stop here and here for the line sharing encouragement. And now let's start going up the street. Let's be mindful of the fact though that if we did draw across some of these roads, that would be a little bit inconvenient because of the way the intersection is placed. So let's move that one just a little bit either further up or down. Well, they all look like they're inconvenient spots. So, all right, another great spot for one of these. So we're interrupting the routes. We're going to draw this one across. That'll kind of shift the nodes around as well. Back into our bus. This is where things get a little bit complicated. We are hopefully going to click on the right one. But because we've got multiple stops here, this could be a bit of an issue. So we'll, we'll, we'll play her by ear and see if it works. Nope. Nope. So it's trying to click and pull and drag the older one. So I'm going to do that to move it out of the way. You can see the one we're trying to work with right now. I'm going to click on that. Now we're back in business. I'm going to grab the original one. So I'm going to hit escape. Go back into this. Grab that original one. Move it back over. I know it's a lot of work, but... This is what has to be done sometimes. And then we'll click back out of here. And let's uh, keep her going. And just like in real life, like how far would you be willing to walk before it got a little bit inconvenient? So usually it's like one or two city blocks, right? If it's a bit too far, it's not going to help a lot of people, you know, kind of in the middle between the stops. If they're too close together, it's not really efficient because you're not going to get the bus up to speed. You're always stopping, you're always starting, you know? And so if you need a little bit of help, like real life bus routes, people are paid a lot of money to plan and think those out. So there's nothing wrong with trying to copy some of those. All right, so we'll drop you off here. Encourage, ooh, interest. Ooh, interesting thought going through here. Yes, maybe taking some of the pressure off that intersection. I love that thought. And we're encouraging the line sharing and that's it. That's the line. We can't stop there because of the way the, uh... wait a minute, what are you trying to tell us? We can't go into that lane? No, we can't. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm going to tell the traffic president this is plausible. There is a feature built into the traffic president mod where you can tell the buses to ignore some of these rules, but it doesn't seem to like to play nicely sometimes when you're doing the routing like this. So hopefully that was the fix. It was. Cool. Works for me. It's suggesting nine. Let's remove all the vehicles so we can do our own uh, custom fleet. If we don't, it just does a roll of the dice of all the randoms here. So, And then I feel like this is already starting to look like it's a busier route. Maybe some more bendy buses. Yeah, let's do eight. It suggested nine, but we're going to put in eight because these are uh, higher capacity. And we got to make sure we do the other side of the street now. Because, like, for example, if you lived, like, right here and you wanted to take the bus to here, it would make sense to take the route kind of going that way, right? Just a few blocks. Instead, because of the way the bus route is situated, it's only one way. You have to go the whole way around. That's not really efficient, right? 
So we'll do the opposite side of the street. And these two basically work as a team. So there's your line sharing getting encouraged, multiple lanes getting used. That's cool. I feel like we could have done a stop in the middle there, but that's okay. You can always add stops to a pre-existing line. That is not a problem at all. Mindful of the intersections, we're stopping on an appropriate side. Let me cut one, one stop out of that one. There you go. And so this one, I think we actually move over to there. We're good. Okay, so we're clicking on this. We had nine vehicles. I'm going to remove the uh, random spawned ones. Too bad you can't copy paste from a previous uh, line. That'd be so handy. And if your vehicles could accept a vehicle color, this is how you would do your, you know, your hex coding and you can copy pasta, which is really nice. So you get a true uniform vehicle fleet. Okay, well, hopefully we've accumulated some money so we can spend some more stuff on Rico. And I don't know, I feel like this has grown on me a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't hate it here. I just feel like maybe a different type of building, like more of an office building or something. It's just a lot of retail space for what it really is. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts, eh? Are we going to be good landlords, let them stay? Or are we giving them the boots? Hmm. Okay, let's find another building that would be a bit more up my... Yeah, like this is kind of what I'm thinking, eh? That's kind of what I'm picturing. Yep. A bit more vertical height. That looks really nice through here. I don't know where this department store comes from. Uh, Karstad? That sounds like it's maybe not from uh, North America. Karstad. Um, if you know where this comes from, let me know in the comments as well. And do you stay? Two questions for you. All right, well, that was unfortunately like all of our money. Rico buildings are very expensive. Oh, this is a gorgeous ass oh get out of town as if this was made for each other oh what a challenge it's gonna be trying to get the height right though eh? hmm oh i love this okay i think if we raise this just ever so slightly we got her yep sorry there's a little bit of yard work in the in the outside i don't know if you guys can hear that or not but it's not my computer fan dying, I promise. That's a lot of height, though, eh? Shoot. Hmm. If I bring that back down and maybe hide the difference with uh, some trees? Oh, it's such a cool thing. I don't want to, like, get through and mess all this up, though, eh? Hmm. I really like this asset. I really like this asset. I wonder if we can make it work. So we could take like the easy approach and we would hide some of the um, uh, issues here with some trees. It's a very, very, very vanilla friendly approach as well. That is so easy to deal with. Another thing we could do is uh, a retaining wall. That is a really, really fun challenge. Now what we could do with the key anarchy, that would be outstandingly fun and challenging. And that would just basically be like trying to make a shape and then pulling it in with the move it mod and then adjusting it and seeing if it's happy. And it could be a combination of the trees plus the um, uh, the key like this. It does give us a little bit of issues here with the terrain. So it does kind of bork the park. And so we got kind of weigh if that's like worth it or if it's maybe something we could terraform out afterwards. Hmm, this is a toughie here, eh? Okay, so I'm gonna say that it's a no for the uh, for the key wall, and it's a yes for the trees. That's fine for me. I might come in between episodes and do a little bit more thought towards this, but I think for sure that building belongs there because that looks really cool. Not only that, the double uh, hotel is really fun, and I think the height is definitely what we're after. So that means we're probably going to want, I think, a few more tall buildings of that same kind of um, height and magnitude through here. And a couple uh, residential condo towers also might make sense. Yeah, I like it. And yeah, I'll, I will. I will come back because I'm going to try to blend, I think, a bit more of this. And I'll do like a pedestrian uh, walkway as well. 
Oh, I feel like we can hear that one for sure. Why do I pick the very moment uh, to record this when they do some uh, lawn, lawn stuff, eh? All right, well, let's just do a little bit more uh, zoning through here. And I think we may have to wrap up this episode so I'm not yelling over top of um, uh, the yard stuff. But not a bad episode. Not a bad episode. Not a lot accomplished here. All right, so some more commercial. And you know what? Actually, I would love, 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 love. You know what's going to solve this? I know what we're going to do. I was hoping for something that was a bit more like wall to wall, kind of fill in the whole thing in. I got just a thing, eh? So we're going to use one of the content creator packs, which I think are just absolutely worth it. 100% of the way. Not only are you getting some cool assets, but you're like supporting the workshop. It's just people from the workshop that make assets for free. Paradox is teamed up with them. So it's a really good pairing. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. If we can make this a bit straighter, that'll be a lot nicer too. And so for here, I was hoping to do the uh, modern uh, uh, city center thing, which is a specialization for your high density commercial. Swap that. Back to your district tools. And so Garnet Square becomes modern city center. And this is supposed to have like a downtown German wall-to-wall uh, -wall kind of look to it and when you get the zoning squares to cooperate these might look okay they might look not the best when you get them to cooperate it looks awesome though and I'm tempted actually maybe to extend that over to this side and that's just high density commercial that will uh, zone with this one here and it gives them yeah just really nice wall-to-wall -wall. oh yeah that's picturesque, eh? So the only thing we might need to toss in is maybe a plaza, some walkways in between to help kind of cut some of the odd space, but that's very nifty. Okay, I like that. But yeah, let's uh, let's wrap up here, my friends. I'm gonna put some thought towards. Uh, ooh, dearie me, what is happening here? Oh, goodness gracious me. Yeah, okay, so I'll put some thought towards a little bit of detailing in and around that hotel area. I'll see what I can come up with. And uh, yeah, I think onwards and upwards. We're just about to unlock another milestone, which is fantastic. Get another one of these guys in place. And so that one is uh, part one of some of the pieces I want to use for our transit hub. The next piece unlocked will be at 18,000. So we're still going to push towards that. We're still going to try to build out the transit hub, hopefully fixing these issues right now. Otherwise, yeah, not too bad of an episode. We got buses. The city is growing. Some custom assets came in. Rico has made another appearance. I'm liking it. Population, milestones, all of it, eh? Moving in the right direction. All right, well, guys, drop me a thought. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, come join our Discord. Come jump in. Have a chit-chat with us. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Man, this I, I can't believe it. I see the bigger picture. I'm getting so excited. I can't wait to, like, you know, jump ahead. And then it'd be fun to kind of do some uh, cinematics coming up, too. So... That's my thought. All right, guys, I'll see you again. Adios, happy building, all the best, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the interwebs.